Hello everyone. We will continue the topic creation of smart forms. In the previous video, what we did depends upon the number of sections. We created one window in the smart form for each and every section of the layout. We created five more windows because one window by default present that is your main window. Now, I will simply click on to the I will simply click on to the form painter. I'm clicking on to form painter, and you can see all windows I am able to see in the form painter. In the first video, when we started with the topic smart form, I told you that we can design the layout of the smart form through form painter also. In the previous video, what we did, we simply right click on the page, we created the window and we gave the dimensions to the window. Same thing you can do through form painter also suppose if i will click on to form painter i can right click on the form painter i can create a window suppose if i am creating a window you can see one more window created window 6 and it is automatically will take the left margin top margin width and height Suppose if I will show you the window which we created through form painter and you can see these dimensions automatically taken. Now, suppose if I will go for the window which we created previously, if I am going to form painter, suppose I think the width of the window is not proper. So if I am increasing the width through form painter, you can see the width increases. Previously, it was three, which I gave. Now it is four. So you can do the same to same thing through form painter also. It's your wish. Sometimes people prefer to create the windows by right clicking on the page and giving the dimensions manually. Sometimes people prefer to do everything through form painter. It's your wish how you want to design the layout. I'll just delete this extra window which we created. Now we will go for next step. In the first window, I want to create a text which is order details. How I will create? I will simply go to my smart form. I will right click on the first window and create a text. I will go to journal attributes of the text. Now, important part. You might find a MS office as editor here. If it is in your PC or if there is a licensed version of MS Office, you might find a MS Office here. But we will do everything through text editor. So those who have the MS Office or those who do not have the MS Office as editor, they can do by this way. So if you have or if you do not have, still everyone can learn this way. So we will do everything through text editor. I will click on to text editor. I will do everything through text editor. I will go for go to change editor. Now I will simply, simply write order details. In the first window, we want to display a text order details. So if you have MS Office or if you do not have MS Office, not an issue because we are using the text editor. 
now we will go for our next window but our next window is in the next window we want to go for a label the label is order number and we want to print the value of order number now we will learn a new topic here whenever you have the fixed number of rows and columns whenever you want to display the fixed number of rows and columns or you can understand in a way whenever you want to display the fixed data fixed data we always always prefer to create a template template so what is template if i will show you the theory of the template template is for fixed data whenever you have fixed number of rows and columns always always create a template template is for static data or fixed data if your data is fixed always create a template now inside the second window we will create a template so i will right click on the second window and i will create a template now the next important part template dimensions can never never exceed window dimension that is sure because the template is inside the window if i will go for window window has a width of 6 it means template has a width of 6 or less than 6 window has a height of 2 it means template has a height of 2 or less than 2 because template is inside the window so template dimensions can never exceed the window dimension i will go to the template and we will see how we can do the things various things for the template i will click on to template tab i will click on to details now suppose window width is 6 and i am taking the template width as also 6 i will go to the layout template has a width of 6 in this 6 cm width i want to accommodate two columns what is the first column order number what is the second column value of order number it means what is the width of individual column it is 3 cm 3 cm 3 cm now template has a height of 2 cm because window has a height of 2 suppose i am taking that template height as also 2 in this 2 cm height i only only want to accommodate this i only want to accommodate one row i only want to accommodate one row it means your row is starting at 1 it is ending at 1 because you have only one row so you have one row and what is the height of that row 2 cm you can go for 20 mm also because 1 cm is equal to 10 mm so it's your wish you want to give 2 cm or you want to give 20 mm i will repeat again how i gave the dimensions template has a width of 6 i want to accommodate two columns so what is the width of individual column 3 cm 3 cm in this 2 cm height 
I only want to accommodate a single row. We have a single row. Then what is the height of that individual row? Two centimeter. So you have starting row is also one. You are ending row is also one. And what is the height of that? Two centimeter. Now, in this template, we will create two text, one for order number and one for the value of order number. So we will do this. I will right click on the template, create text. I will right click on the template, create text. Always, always give that description so that it will make your task easy. Order number label. And this text is for order number value. Similarly, I will give for first text also. This is my order details title. Now, I will go to the text, first text, which is inside the template, important part. I will go to output options. Now, here I will give the line and column. What is the line and column for order number? First row, first column. First row, first column. I will go to second text. What is the row and column for our value of order number? It is first row, second row. So you always have to give the line and columns also. Now inside the first text, I will go to journal attributes. I will go to text editor and I will go to change editor and I will write the text order number. Now, as of now, we will go for labels because this is the value. Value require a logic. So as of now, I will skip this text part and we will do all the logic part at the last. Now, window second is over. Now I will come on to third window. Just right click on the third window. In the third window, we only want to create a text, which is header details. So I will create a text. I will give that description. Header details label. I will go to text editor. Go to change editor and simply I will write here header details. So what we learned in this particular video, we learned that you can design the layout through form painter also. A how you can create the text in the individual window. If you do not have MS Office, still you can do everything through text editor. Whenever you have fixed number of rows and columns, always, always create a template inside the window and you can give rows and columns to their, those particular text. Rest part will continue in the next video. Thank you.